Hello track and field fans from across the globe. This is a new show brought to you by the IAAF Inside Athletics and I am your host Atto Bolden. So our first topic is 9.58, the 2009 world record in the 100 meter dash set by Usain Bolt. The question we're asking is who on this planet is capable of taking down that record? Now, you would have to think Usain Bolt is one of the prime candidates to take down his own world record simply because last year at the Olympic Games he ran 9.63 seconds and that's the closest that anybody has been since that world record was set. But what about some of the other guys that followed him across the line in those Olympic Games? Johan Blake, his training partner and countryman from Jamaica. He has continued to run some very good 200 meter dashes and he got very close last year at 100 in running 9.69 seconds. Now that 9.69 was very significant because when he ran it, he did not have any wind assistance whatsoever. He ran it into a point one headwind. Clearly this is a young man who is very very capable of running much faster. Remember that he is still very very young. Of all the guys I'm about to talk about, he is one of the youngest. Next across the line, Justin Gatlin of the United States and he got his personal best all the way down to 9.79. That used to be the world record back in 1999 as you recall. But Justin Gatlin is not your typical 31 year old sprinter because even though he's 31 now remember he had that suspension so he was out for about four years I think that may help Justin Gatlin because he does not have the number of races in his body that a typical 31 year old sprinter has but here's the thing and with Bolt and Blake this is a given with Gatlin not so much Back in 2005, Justin Gatlin was the world champion at both 100 and 200 meter dashes. And he was running 200 meters consistently. Now he has not been running as consistent at 200 meters as he has in the past. And that's the one element that I think anybody who has any serious designs on the 100 meter world record cannot be merely dating or engaged to the 200 meter dash. They have to be married to it. Bolt and Blake, they are both married to that event. And because they are so good at 200, the 100 meters becomes easy. And that's why they continue to run such fast times. So Gatlin has to get back to that 200 meter form that he showed back when he was an Olympic medalist in 2004 at 200 and back when he was world champion at 2005. And speaking of fast 200 meter dashes, Tyson Gay. Now Tyson Gay is another guy coming back from injury. Remember he had a very long layoff in 2011, came back just in time in 2012 to make that team and to put himself back on the Olympic stage. Now he was not able to get an Olympic medal because he ran 9.80 and 9.80, believe it or not, only got you fourth in London. It's the fastest time ever run to not get an Olympic medal in an Olympic final. Now Tyson Gay we know can run some very fast 200 meter dashes. He has run some fast ones in the past as low as 19.5. But here's the thing that he has not done. He has not been able to run the 200 meters fast because he has been hurt. He has a groin injury that has been lingering for years and years. The question is, can Tyson Gay get back to that sort of 200 meter form that will allow him the chance to get down to 100 meters and get that world record. Now here's the thing, Tyson Gay has said that in the year 2013 he wants personal bests at 400, at 200 and of course at 100 meters. That says to me that clearly he feels that he has turned the corner injury wise and he is going to be able to go attack his personal best at the longer sprint and through that get down to the 100 meter world record and be able to challenge. But two guys that we haven't talked about yet. Let's talk about the guy that got fifth in London, Ryan Bailey. Now he is a young and upcoming guy for the United States. You saw him do his best against Usain Bolt in that 4 by 100 meter relay in the Olympic final. But as I said about the previous four guys, unless you are capable of running well into and under 20 seconds flat, I am not sure you have a legitimate shot 
at 9.58. So Ryan Bailey's work is cut out for him. He has to get way under 20 and get married to that 200 meter dash. And while we're on that subject, let's talk about somebody who was not even in the Olympics last year, Walter Dix of the United States. This is a young man who ran 19.5 in getting very close to Johan Blake when he set his personal best of 19.2. That's somebody who, if he continues to improve at 200 meters, and we know he can run fast, I think he also has to get in a little bit better shape. If he can do those two things as well as stay injury free, I think Walter Dix is certainly one of the guys on that list. So that's what I think. We want to hear what you think. You can follow Inside Athletics on Twitter at InsideATH. You can follow me at ATOBOLDON. And we want to hear what you have to say about this week's topic. We want to hear from you. On your screen right now is how you can interact with us. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time here on Inside Athletics.